by your Tampa Bay Area BMW centers. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. We have just one goal on the board. Came on the power play, scored by Seth Jones, 1-0 Columbus. After 20 minutes of play, Dave Brand are back with you, along with Brian Englo. In our first intermission, assistant coach Derek Lalonde talked about game-to-game -game adjustments and the different styles that you face. How do you think Tampa Bay adjusted tonight so far? Well, it was good early. I agree with them. They had some good scoring chances, but it is very interesting from one game to the next. You just finished playing Carolina in two games, and they're very much a forechecking man-on-man team. John Cooper talked a lot about that, so it presents different kinds of problems, and it changes your structure a little bit. Now you come in against Columbus, who really packed the middle and play much more zone inside their own end in particular. So you heard Newsy talking about the fact that you can't just stay on the perimeter, you can't just stay outside, move the puck quickly, get pucks into the middle and get some rebounds and get some shots and, and some uh, and spread them out. Also go from low to high several times if you have to in the offensive zone. Get them spread out a little bit. So that's a big part of the NHL. You have to do different things on different nights. Southern Ford key stat shots on goal. Five for the Lightning, not nearly what they want to do. That will change, I suspect, here in this second period. Second periods have not been kind to the Blue Jackets this season. They've allowed 62 goals in the second period. That is most in the NHL. By contrast, Tampa Bay's allowed 40. So 22 more goals against in this period by Columbus. So a chance for Tampa Bay to statistically, anyway, jump on them here. But the Jackets start with a puck and work it down the ice. Long range slap shot kicked aside by McElhinney. There's Jack Roslevic. Trying to pin the puck, dug out by Blake Coleman and lifted down the ice. And that got up and out of play. Your Tampa Bay Area BMW centers want to remind you to tune into Valley Sports on Tuesday night as the Lightning head back out of the road to face the Chicago Blackhawks. Coverage begins at 7.30 with Lightning Live pregame. Tuesday night, Bolts and Blackhawks from the Windy City on Valley Sports Sun. John Cooper has kept the lines together for the last couple of games now, trying to get some continuity and get guys working and create some offense for all four lines if possible. Edmonds pass across to Barre Boulay, back into the middle, broken up by Columbus, and then sent in by the Bolts. Lesson is back there to get it. In comes Barre Boulay. And Braden Point comes free to the middle, and the Jackets settle things down. Led by Bjorkstrand, who lifts this one up and down the ice. Here's Domi. Domi trying to make something happen there. Centers it across, and it's tipped out of the way there by Palat. Kicked back in by Columbus. Out of the corner comes Domi. Centering pass again for Bjorkstrand, and it got through him. Bjorkstrand with a quick shot, redirected in front of McElhinney. Couple of chances here for this line, featuring Domi and Bjorkstrand. Bjorkstrand's a smart player. He's on the move all the time, and he found a seam and ended up getting onto the back corner of the net, almost scored there. Here's a turnover, and trying to take a quick shot there was Ross Colton. Colton with three goals this season against Columbus. Sent down by the Jackets. Into the corner, checking his rearview mirror there. Circuit chip puts it up the boards. Joseph trying to put it out of the middle, and Mateau read that. Here's a turnover again, and Gerby spins and fires weak and wide. Blue Jackets get on the loose bucket, shovel just wide of the net, picked up by Sergachev, into the corner for Shen. Shen across to Sergachev, up to the middle of the ice for Matthew Joseph. Joseph drops it out for Maroon, red shot, blocked in front, rebound, Chernak with a drive, and that's tipped just wide. Broken stick on the ice. That is done, the rookie, without a stick. Here's Chernak across to Hedman. Hedman in there. First league is a save, rebound. Hedman gets it and snaps that shot, and that's blocked. Hedman again. Lightning know they've got a guy trapped out there with no stick inside his own blue line, and they're trying to work it around the edge here. Here's Johnson. Can't contain the puck. In comes Sorelli. Sorelli in the back end. Banks it back to the point for Hedman. Swept across, there's Chernak, steps around Dunn without his stick. Penalty call coming up against Dunn. 
Yeah, power play coming up here for the Lightning. This was really intelligent. I talk about this all the time because it's not done often enough. Get the puck over to Come in front of the guy. Get it over in front of the player who has lost his stick because he's only half a player out there. So what does Chernak do? He realized that Dunn doesn't have a stick. He makes a move on him, and Dunn does the reactive thing. He reaches out, doesn't want the guy to get around him, uses his arm, and takes a penalty. That's really good awareness there by the Lightning in general, by Victor Hedman to get the puck over to Chernak, and Chernak to make the move. Toyota power play for Tampa Bay, their first of the night. Here's Barre Boulay. Gary's down one of the corner, trying to send it across. Never got there. Hedman helps out. Back in there, tipped in front. Merzlikens is down. Points digging for it. And Elvis has got it and hangs on. Deflections in front of the net. Brayton Point had a nice one last game on a shot from high up from Pilat. And this time, Brayton got a touch on this one. Double touch. The Point would have had an assist on it because it would have been Kaloran's goal putting the shots in the right place and so that they're reachable by the guys in front of the net. Guys work on deflections all the time. Sorelli wins the draw. They start with the puck again and set things up. Andre Pallad, seven power play goals on the season for him. R.A. Boulay in, drops it back to the line. Hedman had to reach to poke at it. Then it's sent back out and skated down the ice by Texier. Blue Jackets penalty killing over the last four games. Perfect. Eight for eight. And not a bad penalty killing team right around the middle of the pack in the NHL. Now a loose puck for Brayden Point. Steps in, cuts across. Suddenly pass. Trying to find Pilat. And he never got a shot away. Pilat drops it off to Point. Point gives it back to Barre Boulay. Into the corner now is Andre Pilat. Pilat to Hedman. Hedman hangs on. Pilat moves in. Fires a shot. Blocked by Jones. And it's banked up to Robinson. And here they come back the other way. Short handed. That is Derby. Derby hangs on. Wrist shot into the glove of McElhinney with 42 seconds remaining in the man advantage. They put Nathan Gerby back in the lineup. He is a good penalty killer. He's got lots of savvy. And John Tortorella knew that he'd give them some extra jump up front as well. He can really skate. Here's Sorelli now. Gains the zone. Hangs on to the puck. Colton kicks it back into this corner. Got past Yanni Gord to Sergachev. Back to Gord. Back up top to Mikhail Sergachev. Drops it off. There's a pass in front for Sorelli. Tipped and blocked. Rebound picked up by Gord. Throws it across, and Maroon just let it go right by, and it went wide. Final seconds now of the penalty against Dunn, and he steps into the box, so they've killed it off. Lightning still with a puck. Back to the line for Sergachev. Sergachev now dancing around a little bit, snaps a shot that goes over the glove of Merzlikens, well over the net. Ross Colton trying to battle that puck to the line. He does. They try to hold it, but look out. Here comes Columbus trying to break away. It's Mato, and he can't get any separation from McDonough. So it stays 1-0 on the power play goal coming in the first period by Jones. 0-1, for 1, the Tampa Bay Lightning now with their man advantage. Pushed in by Coleman. Coleman gets it back, and his snapshot goes off a stick and out of play. When you're aggressive in the offensive zone, you're going to get some chances, but also sometimes it leads to bad things. A bouncing puck for McDonough and a good read there, and McDonough's in trouble. But look at the speed by McDonough. Bateau's no slouch in that department. He's the one that stole the puck on the cross ice attempt. But McDonough really fast got the angle on him and did a nice job turning it around. Back to Safard. Safard across to McDonough. McDonough inside. Merzlikens makes the save. And there's no rebound with bolts all around him. Face-off wins. Get to the front of the net. Point to point. See if you can get a rebound or a redirection. Savard to McDonough. Presence in front. Goodrow battling for position. He had good position on Kukin. He was on the puck side. But he never got a piece of that when it was airborne. Blake Coleman now winds and fires, saved by Merzlikens. Rebound into the corner. 
Barclay Goodrow digs it out and spins it around, waiting for it is David Safar. He'll turn it over, and now it's a breakaway down the other way. Here comes Roslovic, stopped by McElhinney on Jack Roslovic. A big save. Did they need that? Roslovic can put it home. He's been scoring lots of goals this season. Now it's turnover again, and here come the Jackets. It's lining with Bjorkstrand. Bjorkstrand takes a shot. Never really got to the net. Goes in behind the goal, now picked out of the corner. Gord with the outlet to Savard. A series of events there. Yeah, too many turnovers, and you get aggressive in the offensive zone looking for opportunities, but you have to do the safe thing with the puck as well. And forwards of defense have to make sure that somebody is in the middle of the ice all the time. You get spread out too far, you give up breakaways. Mare Boulay centers it out in front, trying to find points. Good stick there by Domi. Domi races down the ice, and that is broken up on a back check by Chernak. I'll tell you what, the number of breakaways being given up by Tampa Bay in the last two, three weeks, it's alarming. That over-aggressiveness gets them in trouble. Chipped in by Kukin. Into the corner now. Chernak gets there first. And Pollat lets this one back out to center ice. Sent back in by the Jackets and in behind the play. That's Chernak, who's slowly going to the bench as he is shaken up on that hit, that collision after the puck was dumped in there. Yeah, he went into the wall pretty hard. I'm not sure if it was the glass or player or stick that uh, got him in the mouth. Sorelli and Colorn are up there in the corner. Connor Johnson digging forward as well. Now Sorelli with some room. Sorelli wraparound attempt, jam play, and Merzlikens had to be quick to that far post. There's a punch there right by Cole Sherwood in the side of the helmet of Sorelli after that wraparound. Well, a chance by Roslo to get a big save by Curtis Macklin. He keeps it 1-0. He was shooting all the way, and he was beating Eric Chernak his last shift. He got whacked right in the mouth by Dean Kukin up on the play there, and no penalty call, which should have been there. And then this is how the last sequence ended, and Sherwood with a punch up the side of the head for Sorelli, and that one did end up on a penalty, lightning on the power play. Their second power play in just a couple of minutes here in this second period. They're 0 for 1 with one shot, and they win the draw. Back to the point for Hedman. Hedman settles it down, gets it to Andre Pallott. Pallott over the half boards there, looking for options. Points is in the slot. Arch right in front is Alex Kalorn. Here's Pallott. Got to feed one across to Barre Boulay. Goes off the skate, and he sends it back into the corner. And it's cleared by the Jackets.
Edmund gets it back and gives it up to Palat. At center now cutting in his point. Points. His pass disrupted, but Barre Boulay stays onto it and jars it free to the corner. Palat lost his stick momentarily. The Jackets clear this one again. 50 seconds gone in this power play. Edmund is going to leave it here for Yanni Gord, who's just come off the bench. Feeds to the point. Point picks his way in with some speed. R.A. Boulay to point. Puts it around, waiting for it is Kalorn. Kalorn leads it for Yanni Gord. Here's Edmund now. Edmund across to Barre Boulay. ABB cuts back, takes a look, gets it to Edmund, has shot. A rocket just goes wide. Gord now. Back into the corner for Kalorn. Back to Gord. Up top, Victor Hedman. Hedman walks the line across. Tipped in front. Big stop by Merzlikens. Second beauty save from him tonight. Here's another drive by Gord. Snapshot off a skate and out of play. And Elvis. Couple of big saves tonight so far. Much better puck movement on the second half of this power play. Yanni Gord replaced Pilat on that side, and they get a really good scoring chance. It is Yanni Gord making that shot. Nice setup by Victor Hedman. The shot pass, and Kalorn with the tip right on the doorstep. Merzlikens' big leg save. 22 seconds to go in the man advantage. Second unit is on, and Colton had that. Puck got a roll on him, and it sends everybody out. Now sent back in quickly. Gord kicks it back, and it's quickly cleared by Columbus. Lightning ran both power plays this morning in the morning skate, which they always do. They ran it several times. They basically have three different looks that they practice, and that last one fairly, finally worked. The All right. Gord shot past the corner, and that's one of them they worked. Had a bit of a debacle here is the goal too. Uh, are they looking for offside or? Okay. We'll see what happened. I don't think it was an own goal because Luke got an assist. Dragged it with your feet. Very possible. waiting I don't know what to think this one Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. This this review's taken too long. Obviously, you know, unbiased commentary here, but, like, what the heck? Just pick. Was it a goal? Wow, what a block. The call stands, we have a goal. 
BT Mac gets the credit, and the Mooseheads cut the lead within one. Cool. Very cool and epic. Hold on. Okay. Off draw now. Lynx and Luke. Luke looks to get by. Cannot. Abstract looks to ping it. Can't. Abstract comes back with it. He puts it in the corner. And he looks to break it out of his defensive end. Luke, though, looking to get it out. Pass goes right to... Oh, BT Mac had a great shot there. Just missed it wide as they're spamming too many men. That was a rough change. Luke. In deep abstract on him, though, as they look to break it out. Abstract. Does it seems a little lost behind the net. As he's trying to... How did... Oh, Rixie's in the net. That's fun. Pass out! BT Mac whiffs on it. Dicker the other way. Looking to get back. Luke, though, gets hit. Ends up helping him. Good pass over BT Mac. Wide open in the neutral zone. He brings it up, but Pung away. BT Mac tries to send it to the front. Good play by D Dicker to hit it away. Good pass out in front. Alright. Luke looks to get by. Cannot. Links in the neutral zone. Abstract hits it up. He'll go chase it. Luke will put it in corner. Abstract. Keeping it in corner. Luke hits upon the net. BT Mac goes behind the net. Abstract still waiting. Gets the pass out. Links with a shot off the pipe. Ah, oh, that's a good opportunity there for the puppies, but couldn't get it by. BT Mac looking to get it out, though. Links doing a good job keeping it in. 80 seconds to go now here in the second. Puck staying on the post. Oh, that's such a bad pen call. Oh, I should pay attention to Blocky Hockey. <laughs> Shot there. Probably should have went further. Didn't storm. Now we'll wait and look to break it out. One minute to go in the period. Pass it over to Chewy. P3's it in. Sit on me, though. We'll just easily hit it away. Storm, though. Pass out to the slot. Shoe, he can't get the shot away. Digger with some space, but Storm gets back. He looks to cut by. He looks to come in with a shot there. Can't get it by. There's a shot by Chewy into the corner. All right. 35 seconds on the clock. Dicker's just going to wait with it. He looks to hit by, but can't. Rocks Chewy in the process. Right to Storm with a shot block. Dicker hits Storm off the puck. 25 seconds. P3 out into the neutral zone. Chewy... P3's it right into the boards as he tried to curve around. Storm now will break it out once again with 15. Dicker, though, hits it right past him. Dicker keeps possession. 10 on the clock. Chewy hits it away. Cabillionaire looks for the shot. He won't get it off. Dicker will put it in deep, and that will do it. Two periods gone. Here, 3 2 puppies. That's not surprising. Uh, Ovi's about to score on the power play, I think. Oh. Out of play. Barzell high stick someone, and the ref right in front of it didn't call it, but the ref 50 feet away called it. Clear it. Nice, clear. Okay. Third period underway now. Luke and Abstract will take the draw. McChaney hits it. Hits it by Crippled Mong. Abstract, though, gets to the boards and tries to hit it by. McChaney blocks it. He passes it out to the slot. Nobody home. Mong hits it away. McChaney now looking to break it out. Abstract, though, will carry it up. Luke with the good block. He's in. Luke in. Can't get the shot away. It was hit away. And we get some join lag from Evan Mobley. McChaney with a P3 into the corner. Okay. Luke with a good pass. McChaney kicking a shot away. That'll spring Abstract the other way. Abstract, P3. He scores. Abstract with his fourth of the game. And it is now 4-2 puppies.
Polar bear friend had no shot. Yikes. <laughs> oh, Abstract, look at the cut in camp. BT Mac. Bringing it up. Down by two. He gets by. BT Mac! Saved by Sid on me. Storm waits for him to get on side. Good pass. BT Mac P3s it way wide. BT Mac looks to get it in. He cuts back. Pass out to the slot. Nobody home. Jam looks to get by, but can't. Storm. Cuts. Looks for the shot there. BT Mac, good pass. Can't get the shot away. 350 to go now. Big hit. And that's going to be a penalty. Delayed penalty, and Abstract will hit it, and it will be called. It's going to be crippled Mong for interference and a chance for the Mooseheads to bring this back to a one goal deficit. Storm and BT Mac. Abstract on the PK. Off the draw. Storm looks for the pass. Can't get it off. Abstract looks to cut it by. What a ping by BT Mac. Storm now in. They were bunched, and I think Abstract was able to hit it away because of it. Storm hits him off puck. Good pass out. BT Mac shot. <laughs> Way wide. They like that one-timer play, but they are not very accurate with it. Must It's going to take some time to train. Join lag or internet out? I died there. What a goal, I'm assuming. Was it, what was it? Five hole? Wow. And just like that, who scored? Oh, nice. Yeah, they were probably due for a goal like that. Yep. Either way, it is now 4-3. to three, And with 3 minutes and 19 seconds left, the, the Mooseheads are very capable of uh, tying this game up. Luke looking to carry in. Good block by Lynx. Chewy, though, will P3 it right back into the zone. Chewy looking to get it out. Wax Rixie in the process, and that's going to be a penalty. Oh. Are they going to call offsetting here? Chewy for interference. Offsetting interference. And we will have an ISO. It's going to be Dicker for the puppies and Luke for the mooseheads. Who's, uh, who do you think has the advantage here? I would have to say Luke. Okay, puck in the corner. Dicker looks to get by. He has a step. He looks to come in. Save by Polar Bear Friend with just barely in his hitbox. Luke now with a step. He's going the other way with the shot. Off the post, rebound, loose, and it's cleared out. Oh, Luke had a goal. He couldn't bury it. The players will come out of the box. What a chance for the Mooseheads. Chewie's just going to try to break it out here. 222 on the clock. Chewie will P3 it up. Sidami comes out to challenge. Chewie looked for the pass. Probably didn't want more power on it, but couldn't get it off. Luke cuts the puck off. He'll wait. Dicker will try to put it in deep with two on the clock. Luke in the neutral zone. Cuts by. Whiffs on it. Cuts back. Waits again. Pass out. Chewy wasn't ready for it. Dicker! P P I think I died again. Yep. 
Let me relog. Hold on. Unfortunately, common. Okay. 96 seconds left. Mooseheads take a timeout. They trail by one. They're going to run Storm and BT Mac. And I would assume, I would expect a pull for probably Chewy, but it could end up being Luke. Who knows? Oh, yeah. On the power play again? Come on, Islanders. Just stop taking pens. <laughs> Ovi just had the perfect one timer and he whiffed. Okay. Storm and Dicker take the draw. PC Mac. I don't know how he P3 that, but he did. Storm now. Pass it up. BT Mac looks to get by. Comes right to the net. Dicker had a good chance. Couldn't get it on net. 80 seconds left. Mooseheads have to get moving. Good ping by Dicker to keep it in the zone. Storm cuts back. He it, passes it over. BT Mac. Passes it back over. Storm with a step. And cuts around. Oh, but a good play by the defense. BT Mac looking to come in and can't. One minute to play now in the third. Pass comes out. Net empty. Chewy tries to take the shot. Gets whacked by Abstract. Ab Abstract looking for number five to ice the game. 50 seconds. He's doing a great job pressuring. Good block by Digger. He'll put it right back into the zone. Smart play. BT Mac p it up. Storm with a step. And. Oh, Abstract gets back though. 35 seconds, cut toward the net. Can't put it home. Dicker just killing time. 30 on the clock, Storm pressured. Storm. Needs to get it out. BT Mac now comes in. They're bunched on the puck. The pass out. Chewy can't get the shot away. 18 on the clock. Chewy trying to get it past Abstract. Abstract vibing. Hit off puck. Hit off puck again. 10 on the clock, good pass. The shot blocked. Five on the clock. They need one last chance. The pass comes out, but they whiff on the puck. And that will do it. The puppies win it by a score of four to three. Wow. Wow is all I can say as well. Just great all-around effort. They almost... Let the Mooseheads almost came back, but Isaac stood tall, the defense stood tall, and they take a win. All right. I assume there's another game, so we'll see you then. Oh. Oh, that's, that's fun.